you sign your name at the bottom because it has jurisdiction for everything above it and in front of it. Okay? So, therefore, <clears throat> words, all words created worldwide are actually words of contract. All words and the definition of words come from a judge making a judicial decision as to the value of that word. A <clears throat> As pen, B E N. Look it up in a dictionary. It's a writing instrument. Put it in a prison. Now it's a stabbing instrument, a concealed weapon, and it kills people. So, <clears throat> all things in the way they're performed are, are exactly what <clears throat> uh, a judge makes a determination of. What was your volition? Was it to write with it, or was it to do harm with it? Thank you. That's just an example. So every word, when it ends, the last two letters of a word are a vowel and a consonant. When a, when a word ends in a vowel and a consonant, it means contract. If the word starts with a vowel and two consonants, it means no contract. If a vowel is used as a single syllable, which is a hollow sound, it means no. So a vowel two consonants means no also. And we spent 8,000 hours, Russell and I did, over a two-year period. That's all we did for two years. And he lived here with me. And we brainstormed this way back in, in 19, 1999 when we wrote these laws on this. And no one's been able to disprove that anywhere on the planet for the English language and <clears throat> all the countries that use the English language. So, from that, we were able to make a determination when we break these words down. Uh, <clears throat> I go ahead and I use the number codes, one adverb, two verb, three adjective, four pronoun. But I also, when I see a word starts with a vowel, two consonants, I go ahead <clears throat> and I put no above that, that prefix. Because pre, P-R-E, A-E-I-O-N-U, mean no. So all prefixes mean no, because it means to come before. Well, we live in now time. So if the future doesn't exist, because pre represents the future, then therefore the prefix, which is a future, is a no. So when you put a prefix, re and d and un and in and um, it means no. No. You have you have the, uh, your taxation, it says pay your income tax. Now, if I said 3 plus 3 equals 6, you'd say that's correct. If I said 3 plus 3 equals 7, you'd say that's incorrect. We put I in in front of the word correct, which means no correct. So if I want you to join with me, I say come. CO means to corporate, it means join with me. So come me, CO and ME, come. And if I don't want you to come with me, I say income. <laughs> no come to me. So pay your taxes on the no come to me. Therefore, you sign your, your, your tax form, but the IRS doesn't. It's a unilateral contract, so it's not a contract. And unilateral means it's a one-way contract. One-way con contract. It just means one, and, and you're gifting or, or, or donating, but there's no contract for you to do that. They say, well, if you don't participate in our negative condition of we're going to throw your negative, no, no person, into a no jail. That's why no law or fact should be tried in court. They make you into a no. And what is a no person? It's a nom de guerre, or sudium, which is a dead person, which is not alone allowed to make contract or own property. And property, P-R-O, means no, P-E-R is person, and T-Y is contract. No person contract, property. Now, how does property become a no-person contract? Because all land on planet Earth has been subject to war, which means it's ailing, A-I-L-I-N-G, corruption from the beginning. So if we're going to have signs, simulations, signatures placed anywhere to tell people what to do, the sign is going to be trespassing because all the grammar, laws, rules, regulations, and codes, and four billion codes are written in adverb, verb, and say nothing. 
So if we have no people that say nothing, write in nothing, contract in nothing, are advertised in nothing, our world is a nothing world where you can't, or everyone is dead under nom de guerre. So we capitalize your name, and if you want to see where caps go, go to any graveyard. All your tombstones are in caps, uppercase spelling. So that's where we keep our dead people, and that's when you have peace on earth when you're dead.